Hey everyone, first off, apologies for the wind, even though I have a microphone, it is still too much for Mother Nature, but uh, hopefully you can hear me. In this video, we're going to hike to Garnet Peak, which is right back there. It is a high point here in the southern part of Cleveland National Forest, probably an underrated part in the Laguna Mountain Recreation Area in eastern San Diego County. One of my favorite parts of Cleveland National Forest because you're up in the mountains here, which is I guess you'd call it subalpine, and then you get views down into Anza Borrega. Now there's a Garnet Peak Trail that takes you right up to the summit and back. It's not as nice as the way I'm going to show you, which is about four miles. We're going to take the PCT. We're going to go past some great viewpoints into Anza Borrega and the peaks in the distance. And then we're going to summit Garnet Peak and come back the same way. Under a thousand feet, it's not too tough, but the views are nonstop and it is a spectacular hike. Now, I also have a hike in this area that goes to Monument Peak. It's a little bit longer, four miles is too short for you. I'll put a link to that on the website on hikingguy.com, along with this whole guide, which we'll talk about parking and give you maps and all of that fun stuff as well. Now, before I continue, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who supports Hiking Guy. I cannot do it without you, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate every little thing that everyone does for the site, so thank you again. And if you want to say thank you for the hike, or for the video, just click the little thumbs up button and uh, that does me good too. So thank you for that. All right, I will spare you this wind agony. Let's uh, get on the hike. All right, so we're starting out at the Penny Pines Trailhead, which has a good amount of parking, much better than the Garnet Peak Trailhead, which is a little bit up the road. And there are a few different entrances to the trail systems here. We're gonna take this one. You can see there's a little sign for the PCT, which we'll be taking up to the Garnet Peak Trail. And uh, we're going to take this up and around, and there's, after a minute or two, there's a junction right here. And this is the main PCT junction. If we go right, we go down towards uh, southbound, towards Mexico, left, towards Canada. We're going to stop a little short today on this hike, but you can see the trail is well marked. And there's also a bunch of side trails that are pretty well marked in terms of uh, do not enter. It's pretty easy to follow the PCT up here. And after a minute or two, we're going to get a beautiful view across uh, Storm Canyon, which is the big canyon down there to the right. It's hard to express how beautiful these views are along this uh, escarpment here between Laguna Mountain and um, the Borrego Desert below. Now here's a little side trail. You can see the trail goes down there to that viewpoint. You can check that out if you want, uh, but we're going to look at some other ones as we go up here. There's a ton of these little side trails and little camping areas. If you're hiking on the PCT, this is a great place to spend the night around here. There's great views. It might be a little windy, but you can see the views as we look back towards Monument Peak. Uh, you can also hike up to there, and that's in the other guide I mentioned, the uh, Best of Big Laguna Trail Guide. But anyway, we're going to continue up here until we gain the ridge here. I'm going to kind of go around to the left. and. That peak in the middle, that tall one, that's Garnet Peak. That's where we're heading. Named because they started um, finding and mining Garnet here. Garnet's sort of, it's a few different colors, I think, but it can be red most of the time. Looks a little bit ruby. This is one of those little turnoffs that I mentioned earlier where we can go. There's a little tent site here, and if we keep on going, we're going to get this pretty incredible viewpoint down into the desert down in the distance there. Really, really spectacular. And we'll get this on the summit too, but they're hard not to pass up as you do this hike because it's just so breathtakingly beautiful. But anyway, let's head back to the trail and continue towards Garnet Peak, which is straight ahead of us there. One last view down from this area as we do this little switchback. There are some pretty wide switchbacks here. It's a little bit of a roller, a little up and down as we come to this point, which is the important turnoff. This is the Garnet Peak Trail. And to the left is the, road, the trail back down to the trailhead and the road. But we're going to make the right and climb up towards the peak here. And you can see as we come up, there's actually a sign saying Garnet Peak Trail. This is a trail trail. It's not just a use trail, so it's not too bad. And we're going to start the climb. And the climb's tough. It's not crazy tough, but it's about 500 feet as we go up here. But you can see the views are incredible. Lots of nice uh, rock formations. We're going to see off to the left is uh, Cuyameca. Really breathtaking views uh, from Garnet Peak, given its short distance. Now the trail kind of comes around the side of the mountain, goes straight. And then at the end, we're going to come out to this rocky uh, little area here, which is the summit. 
There's a little shelter. It's usually pretty windy, you can see from this video, but here are the views we can see up towards um, the higher peaks across down to the Salton Sea, Monument Peak down there. And on a clear day, you could probably see from the Salton Sea over to coastal uh, San Diego. There's San Jacinto, San Gorgonio. Once we're done here, we just turn around and go back the way we came, and that's the hike. Let's go over the map real quick so you can kind of get a lay of the land. This is the Penny Pines parking area. I mentioned the Garnet Peak Trail goes straight up there, and this is the trail right here. You can see we go straight up. You don't get any of the views that you do this way, so you can go this kind of a loop, or you can go this kind of a loop. I prefer this because we get these great views. So let's go down to the parking area so I can show you the exact trailhead. Now, if you come down here, there's two sides for parking. I always like to park on this side, which is the west side, because I notice that people kind of come through here, uh, tourists driving. There's a trail over here and a little interpretive area. So there's a lot more through traffic here, whereas here you'll be tucked out of the way. This is the Noble Canyon Trail over here, by the way. But anyway, we start from here. This is the trailhead. This is that intersection. Here's the PCT heading south, but we're gonna go north. And then we come out here. This was Storm Canyon over here. And if we look up, there's Monument Peak in the distance. We're going to continue around. This is that overlook where I pointed out you could go down there. But here you could you could see from here great views into the Borrego Desert. That's the Salton Sea over there. We twist around, go up this ridge. And then when we get up to the ridge here, we have the views of Garnet Peak straight up there. That was where the viewpoint was. We continue around. These were those little pull-offs where I showed you the different views. So we come around here. And you can see you can you can hop up to this. There's little use trails here and little campsites. But we're gonna go up here. This is that switchback. We're gonna make our way all the way down to the junction of the Garnet Peak Trail, which is here. Here's that hard right. We're gonna go around the, I guess, northwest side. If you see the opposite side here, it looks pretty extreme. So we come around this side and it's not so bad. And we come around up to the summit, which is right here. It looks like there's a mismatch between the uh, GPX track and the uh, satellite imagery, but this is the summit where we go up to. And uh, yeah, that's the hike. Mm -hmm.